Hello, this is John Kelly of 6x6 Design Website Services up in Rochester, New York. And I'm here to show you how to use and maintain and administer your WordPress website. In this case, it's WordPress version 2.8.4, but you may have a newer version by now. No big deal. The 101 tutorial that we're doing here is going to be in steps and it's it's very basic as far as how we want to begin and it's meant for somebody who absolutely has no idea how to do this or has ever done this <laughs> to a website or as far as using a content management system so in this case let's get started and we're going to open up an example website that we build for demonstration purposes actually and this is a replica of Bob Britton's professional auto care website and we've built it into WordPress and made an actual theme out of it. It's a fully functional website and we're going to use this for our demonstration purposes and you may notice the theme may look similar to yours if you already have one of these and uh, you're, uh, you've been invited to pay, watch this video and, and learn how to maintain your own website. So once again, in general, your website was designed so absolutely anyone with no knowledge of updating websites can go in and update and change your content at will. And it's actually quite simple. In fact, you're going to learn not only how to change your content, but you can also add images and video. You can change what's on the menu over here. You can change the titles and you can add and remove pages etc. Now there's other things you won't be able to do such as changing the header image and the colors and things like that. That requires admin uh, administrative uh, permissions to get in. You actually have editor permissions which is the second highest to get in. So what we're going to do first is we're going to scroll down to the right hand side column on this particular template, template and we're going to find the login. Now what we're doing is by clicking on this link is it's going to open up what's called the WordPress admin panel. So first what we need to do is put in a username, your username and password. So whatever that may be, and maybe it's manager or owner or something like that. And uh, I'll go and throw mine in here in the meantime. And uh, we can also click Remember Me. Now, just in case you ever do lose your password, if you click that, uh, simply it'll email you another one and you'll have to go in and change it. Well, we'll look at that. At a, that's something I can actually handle for you or we can do it at a later time. But anyway, let's go in and log in. Now, once logged in, successfully you're going to be in what's called the admin panel or what's called the dashboard, as WordPress calls it. And this is also known as the back end of your website. This is where you can control stuff. Now normally in this section that you see right here is a big empty space. There's normally options that uh, are turned on. Right now I turn them all off just to save us um, some confusion. But if you want to turn those items on and off, this is how you would simply do it. Over here where it says screen options, click that button. This box opens up and if you notice there's uh, check one of these boxes you can do whatever you want most popular one that you would get here is what's happening on my blog or my website right now uh, right now I got one post 23 pages etc but again this is for another time so for right now to avoid any confusion we're just going to close that up and get rid of that what I want to concentrate is this menu over here on the left if you notice uh, everything that I move over is a link in fact, if I just move over the word post there, a little drop down arrow, if you click that, there's things under it. There's links under it. And we'll go to post later. Right now, we want to concentrate on what's probably the most important thing for you to do, and that is to change or add content to your website. So let's say the home page, you want to do something with it, you want to add content to it. Well, no problem. We go to pages. And of course, if this is closed, all we simply do is either click on pages, hit the arrow, either or, and we're going to select edit. Now when we do that, it's going to open up all the pages in a list that this website contains. And of course, you'll also be able to add a new page if you desire, and it'll simply put it in a list over here, and we'll get to that. But for right now, let's talk about how we're going to edit them. As you can see right now, I'm displaying one of 20 out of 23 pages. This is one page of it. If I click that, that'll take me to the second page or the, the remaining ones. 
Anytime I see a hyphen next to it, that simply means it's a subpage of a page. So <clears throat> let's say that we're going to update the home page. So I go to home page. If you notice when I hover it over it, this can tell me I can edit it. So either one of these buttons will allow me to do the same thing. Quick edit. Yep, we can do that as well, but I'd rather show you the full functions here. It's uh, You'll understand it better. And obviously you can delete any page you want in here. Please don't delete your home page. Not a good idea. And we'd have to reconstruct it, put it back in. Uh, the view link, obviously if I click that, well, let's do it. If I click it, it's going to take me to what we call the front end or the public view of the website. And this is the live version that people online see right now and by seeing that you can see up here this one's called the mechanicsite.com and um, you can see that the browser tab that's open right here is Auto Repair Rochester New York same thing that's in the title bar at the very top of the page so when you look at this URL and you don't see anything after that slash it simply means you're on the home page but anyway if we uh, take a look at this page we're, and we just look around a little bit we already saw that we have our navigation on the left hand side but let's just say that this home page we want to do something here okay let's take Rochester New York and we want to uh, maybe change the color and bold that okay no big deal well we can't do it here what we need to do is go back to where we were and that's in the admin panel now there's two ways you can do that one is you can go right back down where you logged in and if you notice it now says site admin if you click that it takes you back to the dashboard but an easier way is just simply use the back arrow on the browser. So go back one. That takes me right back where I was. Now I'm going to go to the home page and I'm going to edit it by simply clicking on its title. And if you notice, that title that you can change right here is the title that was on the navigation on the home page right here. So if you wanted to change that title, that's where you would do it. So once again, I'm on the front end. How do I get back? Just click the back button. So I go back to where I was. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have what's called a full editor here, or it's called a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get, is what WYSIWYG stands for. Now, it's not entirely WYSIWYG because we remember the font that was on this page was red and centered. Back here, it's black and it's a different font and it's left aligned. So, that's because the style sheet that this website was designed with has those fonts um, already taken care of elsewhere. So in here, you're doing basic things. Uh, now, that doesn't mean that if I go and change the color of this, it's not going to change. It certainly will. In fact, I'll show you. If we were to just take the word repair and let's say we want to make it blue. And by the way, if you're not seeing this second bar here, you'll see this button right here. If I move my mouse over it, it says show or hide the kitchen sink. Kitchen sink meaning there's all kinds of stuff in here. So if I click that, and as you can see, it simply closes it or opens it. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to change that font. And I don't know, let's say we'll make it blue. Okay, we made it blue. Now, if I want to see my changes before I actually save it, if I wanted to save it, I click update page, but I want to preview it first. Click preview. And if you notice, it opened up a new browser tab. Okay, a new window. And there it is. There's my change. Big deal, right? It's a piece of cake. Okay. So I close that up and, well, I don't want it like that again. Well, no problem. We also have an undo button. So we can undo that. It goes back and puts it right back to where it was. So as you can see, you can do pretty much anything you want. We originally wanted to go in here to Rochester, New York, and we said we were going to make that bold. Okay, we just did. All right, what else do we want to do? Okay, let's make it... Um, orange okay so we make it orange and now once again we can preview our change see if that's what we want sure enough okay close that preview that takes us automatically back to our editing screen and we can save it by simply clicking update page okay once that's done the page is now saved and as you can see the page is updated you can view it here, you can view it here, or you can go up top and click here and view it. Three ways of getting there. So if I click the top link, it simply takes me back to the front end again and you can see our changes. So 
That's basically it for this particular video. This is step one of several steps that we're going to do. But for right now, I just want to show you how simple this really actually is. And again, we're using a WordPress platform to do to give you full search engine optimization as well as the ease of, of using any type of uh, WYSIWYG editor to go in and control your website. Search engine optimization simply means that this website is designed to be found in search engines. So in the next step, what we're going to do in the next tutorial that is, is we're going to go in to the same website again and we're going to show you how to control these page functions a little bit better. We're going to show you how to uh, do a little more editing, add a video, uh, add a picture to this, and also how to order these pages that you see over here as well. So I'll see you in the next video.